Hi everyone. Um, I haven't heard the Arcturians here. I'm at the Stupa in Sedona. Um, but I was wondering if I was supposed to share anything with you. And so I'm connected in um, to my Akash. And what I'm hearing is that we find what we look for. So I was standing here and I was like, what am I supposed to, sh am I supposed to share anything? And then I looked down and I saw like these rocks and one of them has kind of a heart shape with the lica um, or lichen and uh, the moss. And um, then I, uh, I looked and I saw another heart shaped rock. And then I was hearing that, you know, we, we find what we're looking for because I had kind of seen the image of the heart of the like, and I'll show it to you. Um, this to me looked like a heart. And then when I called, even that one kind of looks like a heart. But when I pulled back, I noticed and looked over to my right, I saw this rock, which looks like a heart. Even that one sort of looks like a heart. Um, and then I, I was being told that, you know, we find what we look for. And I think that's with everything around us. When we look for what we look for in people we see. So, the message in this time and space is that with all the stuff that's happening and the introspection, you know, and stuff that's, that's taking place, you're going to have the ability to focus on really the things that you want to experience in life. And as you look for those things, you will find more of them. You know, so really trust that. Trust you're guided well, you're loved well. You know, we have uh, angels and guides and masters and teachers and people who have passed who are taking care of us. And, and of course, God and that connection, however you define God. Um, we are very well loved, very well supported. And getting back to this original message, as we look for those things and say those things out loud and feel them and pronounce them in our feelings and, and connect in with that feeling, we will see and experience more of it. Um, I had a discussion with a friend last night who is, was talking to a friend about how she creates things in her life. And she was saying she could have never afforded the house she's in or whatever, but she kept going into a space. She called it another dimension, but it's what we can connect to when we're very in that open, appreciative heart space. And so she went in and just was very thankful and, you know, thanking her angels and guides in that space and feeling it, that she had this amazing house that she wanted, you know, and, um, you know, people talk about affirmations and affirmations are good if you believe them. But why affirmations don't work for everyone is because you have to really feel them and believe them. So I'll leave you with this today is play with it. Look for the things that you want to experience with other people. Um, if you want a happy relationship, see your partner happy. If you want a loving relationship, see them loving and kind. Uh, look for that, you know, acknowledge that in them. Uh, more of that will flow to you. You can do that with your friends and your children um, and your parents. Um, I always like to refer to it as one of the best alchemies uh, uh, that we can participate in. But um, my experience is, is it works every time. So lean into the feeling states of the things you want to create and play around with this idea of the multi-dimensionality of everything. Um, and just go into the space of, you know, thinking and feeling about the things that you want in your life. Um, if they don't happen right away, it doesn't mean that you're not doing it right necessarily, but you'll know based on how you feel when you're practicing that, if you're really connecting in that space, because you should start feeling and experiencing, uh, sort of what you've, uh, what you've put out there. Um, that you want to see in others, you know, it'll, it'll come back to you. I was trying to see if I could turn this in a way where I wasn't squinting, <laughs> but the sun is right above my head. So I'll take, I'll let you 
kind of take a look at the rocks again and then um, I wish you a fantastic uh, weekend wherever you are in the world take care blessings and love and if you like these messages please share them with other people um, uh, share the YouTube channel if you're looking at this on Facebook or Instagram you can shine your inner light is my uh, Instagram Facebook page but it's my um, YouTube site so I'm always encouraging people to shine your inner light and it sounds like that's what this message is today as we shine our inner light, uh, people will experience uh, what you're shining. Um, so be present with that. Again, I'll let you uh, let you take in the view here of the stupa location in Sedona, Arizona. Blessings and love to you all. the stupa first one we went to the big ones over there Beautiful. I want to see some of the desert plants. Stupa, Sedona, Arizona.